Greetings, welcome back. Just a little update on the uh, Budgie desktop. No camera here uh, today. I just want to do uh, just a quick little update. Uh, first, uh, I want to do a special thanks to uh, Linux Quest on his video about this very distro. He actually showed you where the uh, settings are for the desktop uh, time. Also, I think another commenter, was it Lamarck? I think, I forget exactly, I forget. Uh, someone else told me that as well. Uh, how to adjust the time on the desktop settings, um, which you'll see is still not on here. And the reason is you can't change it from 24 hour time to, um, uh, you can't change it from a 24 hour time to your uh, 12 hour AM PM time. But anyway, to change that, what happens is, there is the item on the, uh, basically the applet gets added to the panel, which is why I had no idea where that was, and then you just adjust it down here. Very non-intuitive. I think something like that needs uh, rethought how they do it. But because of the lack of settings, I opted not to do that, uh, not to use that one. Um, second problem that seems to have resolved itself um, I was getting a whole lot of every time I'd access the menu, I'd get pop-ups. Now, when you guys saw it on the video, it was the, the quick note thing that I have since uninstalled because I just don't envision I would use that. Um, after I'd uninstalled that, it was another item. It was like the calendar settings over here were showing up. That seems to have resolved itself on a reboot, so I'm going to go ahead and ignore that. The biggest problem I'm encountering right now is Plank. I am not seeming to be able to add anything to Plank. So in theory, I should be able to, uh, I should be able to come in here and right click and add it to the menu or drag it to the menu or whatever else. It doesn't work. Um, I have not found any way to get this plank properly working on this. Um, and even to get things off, the only way I could do that is I had to install deconfiguration editor. And um, uh, so if you actually, whoop. so if you come into here, if it loads up, I'm not sure if I got that. In theory, there it is. Um, so if you come in here under Net Launchpad Plank, uh, Enable Docs, um, there should in theory be something you can do in here. There really isn't. So the only place that I found where you can actually um, actually do anything is by messing with the configuration file itself, uh, which is in dot .config. Let's see if I can find it again. Um, Plank, Doc1, Launchers, and then you'll see all of these launchers down here. So this is the Nautilus launch item, which is this one up here. So if you actually open up one of these, you'll see what makes these guys up. So in theory, what you can do is you can come in here and just manually create them in this configuration file, and they should show up. To me, that's a royal pain, um, and I don't really particularly care for the look of Plank anyway, so I know I said I was going to try and run this the way they want it to, but uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to get rid of the Plank, and I'm going to install uh, Cairo Dock because it's just much more well-featured. Um, and so to turn off Plank, I will actually be uninstalling it because I don't need it, but what I have to do to get it to stop starting is... Uh, come down here into auto start and I need to turn off, you know, basically just remove it. So now Plank will not start. I'm just going to go ahead and uninstall Plank. Um, the other issue that I found uh, as I was installing the software is in your GNOME Software Center, Thunderbird's not in here. It's quite hilarious. It might be here now because I manually installed it. No, it's not. Uh, okay, yeah, it is now. Uh, I, had to, I had to install this basically, um, you know, went into the terminal and I installed it like anybody else uh, might who is used to Linux, I should say. Uh, sudo apt install Thunderbird. It installs, but it would not show up anywhere in the, uh, uh, in the software center. So I'm not sure what's up with that, but uh, Thunderbird does seem to be missing from the software center. You don't have to do anything funky to install it. You just have to install it through the terminal. And that's a disadvantage of running the, uh, the software centers. Um, let's also go, by the way, see if Synaptic Package Manager is installed. It's not. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. Um, see if it finds this. 
There you go. So I'm going to go ahead and use this to uninstall some things, like I'm going to get rid of Plank. Um, and of course, if you've been following my videos and you know I'm not a huge fan of the collection stuff they're going to do, um, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall Popularity Contest, which I'll do be able to do from inside of here. Um, and I may or may not uninstall AppPort. I might actually keep AppPort on because I do believe in the fact that this is a beta. So because this is a beta, I do want to report bugs. Um, otherwise, I might uninstall AppPort if this were a uh, one of my full production systems. Um, but uh, like I said, there's just some issues with this. There were issues I was having with pulling down the menu. It would always pop up settings for this panel over here, which was highly annoying. You saw that a few times in the video. Um, but regardless, uh, that seems to have resolved itself. So I am going to go ahead and keep this up here. What I might end up doing is putting another plank on the bottom just so I can have my system, uh, you know, just my current task list open at the bottom. I might do that. I'm going to try running this without that though for a while uh, and see if I can uh, if I can get that working. Everything else does seem to be working uh, well. I've not actually spent a day on this yet. I actually got a little frustrated with it yesterday, shut it down, and went back to Debian last night. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up here today, uh, get running on it, and then uh, what we're going to do from there is uh, I'm just going to get rid of Plank. I'll put Cairo Doc over here on this side. Um, on the on the the left side like it is I usually do it on the on the right side but I'm gonna go ahead and do that and uh, see uh, see if that makes any changes I think another thing somebody had asked about on the video is looking at the different um, themes and stuff was it themes it was something else never mind I'm forgetting when I think of it I'll come back I'll come back and revisit that I'm going to do white cursor because of the backgrounds. Um, but regardless, uh, that is uh, just a, a little update. I just wanted to update you that, yeah, I did figure out where to adjust the desktop time. You could move it around and change the color, but you can't change it from 24-hour to 12-hour time. And for that reason, I just made the decision to go without it for a while. Uh, the weather app, uh, I was trying to install that, and somebody did point out on the video, and I saw it in the, in the editing of the video, that, that, yeah, it was failing to install. So I'm not sure what's up with that, but uh, the app, uh, the weather app, that is supposed to be able to go up on the bar does not install right. I'm not sure what's up with that. And then of course the other issue that I found, I was playing with this afterwards, I cannot seem to find a way to set the default place. So um, I guess, there, I mean I can go over here and do that. Um, I don't know, maybe, the, maybe that'll reset it right. I was having issues with that. I could not find a very quick way to just kind of change it. Let's see if that solved it now. Okay, so maybe just uh, coming into your places and turning off automatic location maybe did that. And uh, it's probably pulling from the ISP, which is Redding. Is, eh, it's a ways away, a couple hours. But anyway, so I can get the weather app here. I can't seem to get the one installed up on the panel. Uh, not sure why that is. I did go ahead and install, I think, the rest of the software that I was going to install. Um, I installed Thunderbird, which I use for some of my uh, email applications, but I use Evolution for my primary application, uh, email application. I installed Kodi. Um, I'm just going to run with Rhythmbox. Uh, not my favorite, but I'm going to go ahead and run with it. Um, I did install uh, installed Kodi, though. have not had a chance to set any of that up. I think that's about all I've done in that respect. So I'll go ahead and uh, run this up and probably on Thursday I will do just another video how my final setup is. And I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and keep this wallpaper because I really like this wallpaper. It's pretty nice. Uh, so that's just a brief little update I wanted to, uh, to bring to you guys. So uh, keep on Linuxing around and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.